This is a presentation of a unique clinical scenario of a young lady with a two-week history of recurrent vomiting, weight loss, and a weekly discernible abdominal mass. She was investigated at the outpatient clinic for chronic anemia four months prior to admission. An abdominal CT scan revealed a huge target sign lesion at the third part of the duodenum. An upper gastrointestinal endoscopy showed a grossly elongated stomach with external compression at the second part of the duodenum. The patient was then brought to the operating theatre and was found to have a duodenal jejunal intussusception secondary to the duodenal tumour. The third part of the duodenum and proximal jejunum were resected. Following that, a side-to-side -side duodenal jejunal reconstruction was done. Histopathological examination of the specimen was reported as poorly differentiated extraosseous ewing sarcoma of the duodenum. Immunohistochemistry stains demonstrated strong and diffuse nuclear immunoreactivity to NKX2-2 and ERG with membranous immunoreactivity to CD99. The patient was discharged home well after a week only to be readmitted one month later with severe abdominal pain. An urgent CT scan of the abdomen done demonstrated multiple and large paraiotic and celiac luminal metastasis. She was then transferred to the oncology ward, but unfortunately, she succumbed shortly before the commencement of the chemotherapy. This extraordinary encounter proves that poorly differentiated Ewing sarcoma of the duodenum in young patients require urgent surgical resection followed by prompt adjuvant chemotherapy.